I love Alex Hormozzi, read his books, love it, but his website sucks. So I took Alex's advice of helping people without any expectations of reward. Give first and without expectation, and you'll get more than you can imagine. And I redesigned his website as a gift. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how I turned it from this to this so that hopefully Alex can make a bigger impact. Will he use it? We'll see. By the way, you can help make that happen, so stay till the end. To begin, let me share why I think that his current website sucks. Over the last few years, Alex has been trying to establish himself as one of the top influencers on the topics of business and entrepreneurship. Now, if you take a look at the website of the top business influencers, people like Gary Vee or Grant Cardone, you can immediately see the difference in quality. Now, Alec talks a lot about brand and how you associate yourself with what people think about you. But what do people think about you when it looks like you don't even have the money for a decent website? Not to mention one that you can actually read on mobile devices. People today have high standards and expectations when it comes to the websites of brand that they like. And when your website looks like this, while you claim to have tons of money, something here feels a little bit in dissonance. Now, the other thing is that Alex's website acquisition.com starts off by immediately throwing you into a funnel where you have to basically tell them who you are and give them your email or else you basically can't see anything. Now, this is bonkers to me. You know, I've heard Alex say so many times that you need patience in business if you want to win and that you need to deliver value first. So why is he trying to blackmail my email before even sharing who he is, what he can do for me and some proof that he can actually do that? To me, that sounds like a very, very conversion optimized short term thinking, which is Alex, not a really good look on you, my friend. So let's fix that. So to get started, I've opened up a Figma file and brought in a bunch of thumbnails just so I can have a little bit of reference to the visual style and also collected a few of the assets that I thought I might use on the website itself. And then I started doing some exploration of what a hero section might look like. And at this stage, I'm just throwing things and just trying different layouts and different ideas here just to see what can possibly work. And again, the idea here is to just try as many things as possible, just to throw in some ideas and experiment and see if that goes well. I actually thought that this idea might work with the sell scale star because that's basically what they have here in this funnel. They help you sell, scale or start the business. Although it's probably makes sense to organize this in start scale and then sell because that's a process when you're starting a business. Um, and also, I think it would be cool if we can take a lot of the footage and the videos that Alex has or him and Layla on their YouTube channel and try to create some videos tend to convey so much more emotion. So I feel like this is going to be a strong idea to get started with. Next, I wanted to figure out which font I'm going to use. I know that I'm probably going to keep the purple that they have already. And I just wanted to check in a lot of different options for the fonts. Now, what I'm going for here is I'm trying to look for something that's bold because obviously they're in the business, hustle, work hard. So I think bold is going to work well. And also I think a condensed font is going to work well because when you have big type and especially on social media where you don't have a lot of space and on websites, if you have a condensed type, you can fit in more text and more content in less space. So I figured out I'm going to use this font, which is called Big Shoulders Display, has like these nice little ink traps here, which I think is actually a pretty cool look. So I took those things and I've started to design. So figure out that this would be the hero section with start, scale, sale, and then added kind of a, a, a little bit more info here. We make real business education available to everyone. I took this from their uh, vision on their info page and a call to action to grow my company. And then the next section after that, I wanted to explore the different offerings that they have. So I've looked up free mockups on Google for books and maybe laptops to show courses and just to make it a little bit more visually appealing. Their books, their courses, image from the workshops and the newsletter, I wanted to show it kind of like on a mobile as if you're going to be reading it on the go. And then I've created a section with a little bit of context about them, who they are, and also talks a little bit about the businesses that they've started in the past, because I think that this is going to be helping building their credibility and yeah, showing why you should trust them. Then because they have so much content, I feel like sharing some of that recent content is number one, proof that their content is so successful, but also helping you bringing you value, you know, first. 
And then I feel like it's a good place to maybe ask them or lead them into your funnel, whether you want to scale the business. Now, I actually felt like the icons in the original funnel were so generic and kind of like low quality. So I wanted to do something a little cooler um, in this area here. And the way I did this is I took this tool, AI tool, which is called the Recraft. Now, the cool thing about Recraft is you can create image sets. You basically define a style and then you can create few images in the same style. So in this case, I've created vector art. I could have picked from a lot of different things. And I used the same ideas that they had, like a rocket launching, graph going up, and a handshake, and generated this. Of course, each one of these, if you don't like, you can generate more options and pick the ones that you love. Now, the beautiful thing about this is that these are vector illustrations. So I'm going to bring them here. They're fully editable. They're going to be super light, loading super fast on the website. And I feel like this is a pretty cool look to lead you into this. Wanted to end off with leading them into the social networks of both Alex and Layla and a nice little footer. So I think this is going to work very well as a homepage that's not only trying to convert very well, but also give you a little bit of context and show the high quality of things that they're having. Next, what I did is I jumped into Webflow to start building this. Now, I wanted to, as I've mentioned, to use video in the background. So I've downloaded a bunch of videos from their YouTube, jumped into Premiere, and basically edited edit them without any sounds, just look uh, a few kind of like impressive visuals, and created a 15 seconds loop here that I can use in the background and then uploaded it into Webflow and also created this nice animation for the typography, kind of like tell the story step by step, start, scale, sell, and then basically the call to action. So I feel like it turned out really nice. It's much more impactful, I feel, with a video in the background. They have really good footage and then we can get started. So now we have these four basically offerings here that we can click to dive into each one of these. We have the about section and then we have the recent content also created like a cool interaction on those. And then we've got the business leading you into the funnel and finally staying connected in this acquisition.com. So what do you think? Do you think it's a good improvement? With just a few more hours, you can really take this website into a new level. Now, if you like this, please share this with Alex. I would love to send over the project and complete all the other pages and responsive states for this website so that he can really make a great impact. And I'll see you on the next video.